Welcome to part two of our lab, uh, cloud lab. In this lab, first lab, we configured just our machine. We got the job the first week, we were just configuring things, and we left some of the softwares for you to test out more and more, like patch management system and other ones, file and imaging. Like again, these are covered in our courses, so don't just get confused right now and think, huh? So make sure you take the course. So all of these other softwares are for you to test out and play around more. But we are going to move on in this lab and we will spend our second week. This is the second week where you start learning about employees and things like that. You're getting comfortable now and bam, you got your first call from HR. Then Mr. Danny, your new IT guy, we are giving you a task where you need to add our new IT director to our system through Active Directory. Now in the interview you told them that I know Active Directory because I took a course so this should be really easy for you. What you need to do is again in this lab you have access to domain controller. You are a domain admin. You open your server. Usually you do this from your computer Windows 7, Windows 10 and the same way you click on add-on there's like basically administrative tools are available for you. You install that on your machine but in rare cases if you are that domain admin you can do it from the server like this so you just go to tools go to users and computers here and then here you will apply everything you learned in our Active Directory course which is free also so go ahead and take that course and then come back here and apply all these skills about adding a person over here and all of that we have discussed. Remember, our Active Directory are pretty good and they're pretty famous on YouTube. So if you even if, even if you don't want to take the whole course, you can actually go and just take the Active Directory videos, um, and that will help you out too because there are full training on how to do this process. So we are not going to do this in this lab. We we'll leave that for you so you can do all your own testing. So in this case, what you will be doing is you will be using your second computer. Since this is a part of the lab, that's why I want to clear it. When you access your second computer, as you see right here, this is on work group. So you need to first make this on a domain. You need to add it. So you are adding this IT director machine for the first time. So think about him as this is your IT director machine. And now you are basic, basically getting off your main computer. You have done the configuration. Now you're actually doing a server client type of troubleshootings or process like this. So you need to go to your uh, machine you will add it to your domain controller which is hq.jobskillshare.org and you click enter now you see right here as soon as you did this there got to be a mistake when you do this kind of error maybe I did not put it right so let's go check it oh there you go I'm missing L oh it's still not working oh, okay things are not good so how do you fix this issue since this is not a real domain environment we have just did it for you so you can start kind of like getting around things so the way to fix this issue is in your lab environment you're gonna go back to your domain controller and this is what you need to do because you need this to do your processes and do your troubleshooting you're gonna do cmd ip config and you're gonna find the IP address of the domain controller which is 10240.0.6 all you need to do is to go back to your workgroup computer this is your IT director computer and you are going to basically uh, I think you guys can not see my screen here but right click on the right side of the computer that little network icon and click on open network and computer settings here so once you get here, you click on Ethernet right here, click on Properties, and go to IPv4 Properties. And in the DNS section, you are going to put that domain controller IP address. I'm going to put it right here so you guys can see that. That's my domain controller IP address. I went to my work group computer, and in the DNS section, I put 10.240.0.6 now again don't get confused with this stuff because you all you will probably never touch this stuff in your work environment this is your system administrator job 
to do these kind of things so you probably are not touching this stuff this is for you to make your lab easier because you have to talk you have to connect this to the domain controller to do everything else like deploying a software where you learn in, in the classroom like the online classroom that we have all that thing that you will learn you can apply it right here on this computers so you're gonna cancel this out because we added the IP address and now if we go back and we try to add this to a domain controller we are going to right click go to system and go to change settings here go to change here and now if I click HQ dot job skill share dot org bam right there put that username and password help desk and we are going to say add this to the domain controller bam there you go welcome to hq.jobskillshare.org and now if I restart this machine what's gonna happen it is totally under my control from that domain controller I can do anything with this computer after this I can access this computer through other user domain users and some other good stuff like deploying software and other things like scanning this computer uh, security every single thing you want to apply you can use that so that's why I did this process because I wanted to show you guys and because you guys will definitely get stuck at this point because you guys are doing int um, inventory from this machine now if you're doing a deployment from PDQ if you're doing a spice works trying to access this machine if you're doing the patch management system where you deploy the patches where you do other things one last thing now is that you have access to um, like in like I said in the beginning that this is a domain controller so you have access to IIS and some advanced stuff so maybe you probably will be a person that is also going to be taking care of site meaning if they're a member they get added to the site and you reset their account so just for your testing we also give you a WordPress admin section so if you click on this right here there's a username and password on the bottom right here and if you click on admin copy paste this information right here and click on help this admin this is giving you another skill right here it is not just about computers also these days a lot of people are using internal intranets or external sites where they might give you some task about resetting passwords usually it's more of the web team people but if it's a small company you might be also doing this stuff so they will give you all these tasks that's kinda IT stuff you know but some of them can be more web related like I, like I said if you wanna be that person look good in your interview then you wanna also try out these things like WordPress administrator so you go ahead and play around with this WordPress site this is your site you can play around with it and if you wanna check something like plugins go to YouTube we have actually a course about WordPress go take that course or go to YouTube learn something about WordPress settings things like adding things put a site there make, make your own site in there for in these three days play around with all of these things and once things are not working for you or you want to troubleshoot uh, this site you can use actually IIS because a lot of people are running big sites on IIS so you could actually use IIS and learn about uh, that in, in your you know uh, tutorials outside this course and kind of apply it right here and then also use that and then you have done projects on IIS like you know you've done some tra training and you came over here and you have tested it so that's going to give you another um, you know a good extra skill for you to go to IIS basically you just need to click on start here go to all programs go to the where is it administrator 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 stuff right here go to control panel and administrator tools I don't know why it's not well here right here I was looking for that okay so administrator tools right here and then here you will see everything that you need to access so for example if you're trying to access IIS manager this is right here internet information services if you click on that it will take you to where the WordPress is actually running so here you click on that expand it right here and just cancel that go to sites and go to default websites right here and this is your WordPress 
you got other sites no in reality you know this is more of an admin person will be doing this stuff or like I said if someone is a little bit higher levels they just do these things you know you because you know that's your main site so they might have one two three sites or they might have like you know separated like this um, so just for you to have more you know uh, not just ticketing system and active directory you have a lot of things in these labs to kind of try out remember entry level and mid level is our target here so you can do these things and also apply for a mid level help desk positions or you can also try these things and finish the whole courses and try out to entry level or to administrative level positions so it's really up to you guys this part is over and again and again and again I'm going to tell you and remind you that this is a lab so we're not going to do the whole courses on these things this is for you to come here and now you are in charge of this stuff you have learned everything in the in the courses now come here and start playing around with these things because if you don't put your hand on these things you will always be confused and you will have very low confidence when you try to uh, face these things or you try to go to interviews so this is your chance take that whole thing away from you be confident and try these labs see you guys in a different videos thank you